Welcome everyone, this is Zonta with Repro Products. Today's video is on how to export your sheets in Revit 2022 to PDF. Uh, I'm in Revit 2022 and I have a model open up and there are a lot of sheets that I have set up in this particular file. Um, A101 all the way down to A505 and if you take a look at the sheets you can see what's contained in them. So I've got a whole bunch of sheets that are schedules, some floor plans, um, ceiling plans, and large plans, elevations, and so on. Um, for this particular set, everything is in color. And for the most part, all of the views are set to a fine level and realistic visual style. So pretty intense high level of imagery information that's on the paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the new PDF export functionality in Revit 2022. You do not need to have PDF software installed on your machine that can allow you to make PDF files. That's one of the advantages. Um, on this particular work computer, I have, I have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed on my computer, so I cannot make PDF files via Adobe Acrobat. Um, and I don't have any other kind of PDF software that's available either installed on this machine. So for us to make PDF files from within Revit, we head over to the File tab of the ribbon, head over to Export, and look for PDF. Now, um, it'll ask if I need to save it because I've been working in it, but you'll get your PDF export window right here. You can resize this window, and a lot of the windows that you work with in Revit have also been updated for you to um, expand and change the size of as well. In this PDF export dialog box, you can export the current window, the visible portion of the current window, or your selected views and sheets. So I'm going to click this little pencil symbol here, and it will list all the sheets that are either in set one or in the session. And the more that you have checked, the more sheets will be used to make the PDF file. And obviously, it will take longer to process. Once I'm done, I can also use the preview window here to pick a particular uh, sheet and it will give you the preview of, preview of what it's going to look like. I'll click select and then down here, it'll give you the ability to save your settings out um, so that you can use it later. Um, down here, it asks you for the name of the file and then it'll ask if you want to combine the selected views and sheets into a single PDF file. If this is unchecked, then it's going to use um, the naming convention of each of the sheets and their numbers. I'm going to put a check mark here so that it makes all of it as a single PDF file. Down here under the size, it defaults to use sheet size. So it will already know what sheet title block family file you're working with, and it will know the size and the orientation. Since we're printing sheets, we want to print full scale 100%, so I'm setting my zoom to 100%. The default is fit to page, so just be careful because if it's set to fit to page, it's not scaled pro correctly. And then the placement can be centered or it can be offset. It just depends on what you're working with and what you're choosing to print or plot. Uh, orientation here is set to automatic, so it knows which way to set the uh, PDF files. Under the appearance, if you, you've, if you have raster quality content, um, you can set it to low, medium, high, or presentation. And whether you want it in black lines, grayscale, or color. Also, under the create output using, you have vector processing or raster processing. And then since I'm printing this set as a color set, I can put a check mark here that says view links in blue. Once I click export, it'll ask if you want to go ahead and make it. And in this case, I already made the file, so it's going to ask if I want to replace the file. I'm going to click yes. And then it's going to start processing. You'll see in your command line in the lower left corner the percentage of uh, the function as it goes through each of the sheets. Now this particular set, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 sheets, all in color and high quality. So when I did it the first time, it took about five minutes to 
uh, process all the sheets and make the single color PDF file. Uh, I'm doing this real time so you get an idea of how long it takes to export the sheets out to PDF format. Obviously, since this is a video, you can always scrub forward so you don't have to wait approximately five minutes um, for it to finish. So what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to let it go through this process so you do get a real sense of how long it takes to plot this kind of set. Now, most of the time when we are plotting out sheets, they're typically black and white and it's usually for construction purposes. So even though it's going to be uh, very detailed with content on each sheet that's in black and white, it still isn't considered color content. It isn't considered realistic visual style content. It may be a fine level of detail, but the processing will go much faster. And the times that I've tested the speed of plotting uh, PDF files in color versus black and white. The black and white speed tends to be at least half the speed. Um, in other words, it will take half as long to print a black and white set than it is to plot a color set. Um, <clears throat> but in any event, we'll go ahead and let the Revit 2022 software do its thing. And um, just be, you know, mindful of the time duration. Your machine, depending on what kind of machine you're running and how much RAM you have and how powerful it is, it may dictate as well how fast it takes to create the PDF files. Your Revit software in the upper left corner um, will also say not responding. And that's just to let you know that it's processing the data in the background. And so when you have to do this, you kind of are stuck in the sense of you can't let the Revit 2022 software make the PDF files and you can continue to work in the model as it's printing or plotting in the background. Um, that's just how it is with uh, the Revit software right now. And I do know that, like, for example, with AutoCAD, you can print or plot your set and it will process it in the background and you can still work in your AutoCAD file. Um, for Revit, if you're not exporting to PDF, and you're printing or plotting the sheets to an actual machine, you can work in the Revit software and in your model while that is being pushed to the actual plotting device. But for using this export to PDF function, which is new in Revit 2022, you are kind of restricted. You can't really work in the model um, while this is going on. The other caveat as well with this new feature is that it will only um, give you what you have on your sheets. In other words, your sheets, like in this set, has 2D views and 3D views and perspectives, and it prints them out as 2D PDF content. There is software out there that can create three-dimensional images in a PDF file such that the PDF, the, the 3D image is actually content, metadata content, and you can actually zoom and orbit and rotate and pan and you can select content and do a lot of interesting things with that. For this version of the new release of Revit 2022 and the export to PDF function, it does not handle 3D PDF exporting yet. Uh, I would guess to think that it is probably on the Revit wish list. And if it's not, you can actually submit that request. Um, you can head over to forums.autodesk.com, head over to Revit Ideas, and submit the idea. And I'm pretty sure somebody already has. So um, if, if, uh, if you want to, you can do that. And at least Autodesk knows that that's something you want to have them explore and see if it's a viable feature for them to integrate into Revit. Um, and as you can see right now, um, the Revit 2022 software is still going. Um, and like I said, when I did it the first time, it took about five minutes. And so I think we're probably about halfway through right now to processing just those sheets. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and wait and let it finish out. When it is finished, uh, it may pop up any kind of warnings that refer to either vector-based or raster-based processing. 
um, it may not give you any warning whatsoever. If it doesn't give you any warnings, it'll finish and your command line will go back to its default. You'll, you will not get any kind of dialog box that says export PDF has been completed. Uh, you just get presented with the Revit software and then you'll be able to see your Revit model or whatever view that you were working in last. So we just have to sit and wait still to see it finish out. And then once it is finished, I'll open up Windows Explorer and then I'll show you the PDF file that it created. The This new feature, it's actually, you know, a good feature to have, especially when you don't have PDF creation software on your computer and you just need to be able to make the PDF files from Revit natively. Uh, it's no different than if you had AutoCAD and I remember up to a certain point you could not make auto PDF files from within AutoCAD natively until they came out with that function and now it's kind of a given everybody just assumes that oh of course you can make PDFs uh, within AutoCAD you just pick AutoCAD to PDF um, the PC3 file and they actually have three or four different PC3 files we use in AutoCAD to make the PDF files so finally having the ability to make PDF files from Revit natively is a good plus to have. Um, as you can see, it's still going. It's still processing. It still says not responding. And, you know, at first when I did it prior to making the video for testing it, uh, I wasn't sure whether it was going to complete or not. I wasn't sure it was going to crash on me, but it didn't. And it finished, and the warning that it gave me, which is the same warning as down here in the, my lower right corner, it just says a warning about the raster processing. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer, which is on my other monitor. And we'll move it over here to this monitor. And we'll head over to where I placed the files. So we'll head over to our demo uh, demonstration subfolder to Revit to PDF. And there's our PDF file. It created it today at 2.13 roughly. And since I have Adobe Back Reader, I can open it up in that software. And it's 27 megs. So we're going to go ahead and open up the file in Adobe uh, Acrobat. And we'll show you here. And this is what it looks like. So it did make the sheets. Everything's in color. It's very clean. It doesn't look there's any kind of weird, obscure colorization or any kind of strange patterning in the white uh, parts of the sheet. And uh, as from what I can tell, it looks like it made the PDF file just fine. So having this neat new feature for being able to export your sheets out to PDF format is a good plus. So thank you very much for watching.